Hello there and welcome. This is a quick video to introduce you to some of the features available on the LK8000 and XC Saw. Uh, mainly it's meant for people who haven't used the programs before and to give you a better idea of whether it's a program that's suitable for you to enhance your flying. Now uh, once you've bought this on eBay off me I'll be sending out two emails which are quick start guides on the individual programs and go into more depth telling you how to set up maps and airspace and all those bits and pieces. Uh, this video as mentioned is going to be more an overall features of what's available. So once we've started up the unit which is button on the top left which we hold for a few seconds um, we can start up either of the programs. Now the features pretty much uh, are the same in both programs. They're accessible slightly different and uh, those two videos later on will cover that in more depth. Just to uh, show you some of the features and talk about it, I'm going to start up LK8000 initially. Which we got the uh, basic loading screen. And once it loads up all its uh, airspace terrain files it brings us to the SCAR starting screen, which is single click, and uh, then it'll probably take a little while for the GPS signal to come up. Here we go. So uh, initially, just some of the uh, options you've got here. You can zoom in, zoom out by clicking at the bottom or the top of the screen, as you can see, zooming in and out there. You've got various different uh, views available. So at the moment, uh, we're on the uh, on page zero. If I right click we go to page one which you can see gives us a sort of side on view of the airspace so we can see here we've got London Class A airspace up there. Um, on here we've got the same thing except the map's quite small up the top third and then two thirds is about that horizontal airspace looking side on. Similar kind of thing here except looking in a slightly different direction and then uh, page four giving us uh, the terrain up the top. And page five takes us back to the original uh, page that we had at the beginning. So uh, what I'm going to do is just click the airspace because the way it was beforehand gave us a great view of all the airspace available but if there's airspace up 10, 12,000 feet that may not be particularly relevant for you flying around uh, near ground level. Now in this overall view here you can see we've got all the different aerodromes and danger zones and London uh, control regions and so on. Now, some of the features available, the first one which I find very useful is uh, airspace warning. So if I'm flying around the area here, if I'm flying towards a danger area or um, an ATS or airspace, it'll flash up a warning. First, it'll give you an audible warning and then you'll get up a screen warning, uh, which will say London CTA, five miles ahead, and uh, which will give you the option then you can either click uh, acknowledge and it'll close it down or of course you can respond to that and go oh I don't want to be flying into there so I'm going to turn away so uh, that's very helpful because when you're flying cross country or flying in unfamiliar areas you may not always be aware of all the airspace around you uh, the next thing that you can do is look at local airfields or airspace in more depth now the way to do that is by uh, holding uh, essentially the, the screen for a couple of seconds pushing a, a button down and then you can look at the various bits of airspace around you so you can see you can go up down and you can select the various bits and pieces here um, to say select that one it's going to tell me no fly class D that's uh, where it is with relation and uh, top to surface so that's surface to 2130 MSL and uh, which is quite helpful you could also go fly in so at the moment that's white walls and it also gives you a frequency rather helpful if you're in the local area and you decide oh I need some fuel from somewhere or I need to land um, because of the weather you can get that frequency straight away and the airspace details so again a pretty helpful feature when you're doing cross country or flying around um, next one is thermal centering now obviously I'm not flying at the moment it would be rather difficult to talk over the wind noise so I'll have to just talk about this one uh, essentially as you're flying around, let's say uh, we're flying around this area and we're thermaling. Now we're doing our circles for the thermaling. What you can do is set up uh, a trail. So essentially you'll get a coloured trail which will be different colours depending on how much lift you've been getting. So just for example, say you've been getting uh, one metre per second, it'll be light blue. Uh, zero metres will be dark blue and it gets brighter as you get more lift. 
So what that helps you to do then, uh, you can also turn on auto zoom, so it'll zoom in, um, giving you a more in-depth look and a higher resolution map essentially of that local area that you're thermaling on. What that's terribly helpful for is you can actually then center your thermals around the highest bit of lift. So uh, say it's orange or even red, which would be a massive amount of lift, uh, that'll be a great place to sort of thermal. And you can constantly readjust that based on uh, how much you've been climbing and those colors, uh, which I find terribly helpful for when I'm uh, paragliding. But of course, it'd be the same if you were, say, uh, uh, flying a glider, a uh, sailplane, or, or hang glider. Now, I've talked about the various zoom buttons on the top. There's also zoom buttons down the bottom. Um, well, I shouldn't call them zoom buttons. They're more like option buttons. So at the moment, it's telling us we're at an altitude of 219 feet. Uh, track of 325 and our ground speed zero in kilometers we can change that of course um, by clicking left and right on the bottom uh, we can change that so we'll get the height in GPS uh, we can uh, height AGL because I'm uh, in the first floor in my house home distances so uh, I should probably talk about tasks here you can program in tasks going oh, I'd like to fly this triangle um, the program is also very, very useful as a flight logger so uh, you can not only log your flights which is actually then uh, allowed at competition level and uh, I believe the Czech champion actually used uh, LK8000 for uh, in the Czech championships to prove that he'd flown the furthest uh, triangle that day uh, which is quite helpful so uh, and you can go through the various times here flying time you can adjust all these things with dozens and dozens of options so task arrival task coverage they're of course blank because I'm not flying at the minute but uh, once we're flying they'd be filled in. Uh, one thing that I find particularly useful is glide ratio uh, which uh, you can program as well. Arrive altitude that's just to make sure say you're flying somewhere that you're going to arrive above that altitude to be able to make it over that next ridge line or whatever it is you need to do. Uh, got a battery level indicator here which is pretty useful. How many satellites I've got and uh, so you've got all these various options. You can hear you've got different pitches and it'll take you back to the original one when the, the pitch goes back to a more neutral sound. So uh, I think that's pretty much covered the basics I wanted to go through. You've got an options menu by clicking on the bottom right where you can configure various bits and pieces but the videos I'll be sending out um, once you purchased it will cover more in depth how to change uh, maps and airspace and those kind of features. So I hope this has given you a a bit of an idea of what you can do with the program. I personally, I'm very impressed with it. Uh, you can do a lot of stuff uh, with it. I probably haven't even explored uh, half of what's available in here myself yet, and certainly not in this video. Uh, for that, you can look at the manuals on the, the XC Saw and LK8000 website. But it's a great tool at just enhancing your situa situational awareness and, uh, and just improving your flying. It makes it a lot easier having that sort of uh, screen in front of you giving you SA and of course you don't have to use it but when you glance down it's quite nice to have all that information at your fingertips and uh, as mentioned in the ad as well it works well with gloves which is pretty useful rather than constantly having to take them on and, and off so uh, that's me signing off then I hope that you found this useful and it's given you a bit of an idea of some of the features available in LK8000 and XC Saw uh, thank you very much for watching Goodbye.